So welcome to the very first episode of my Ultimate Team Road to Glory series and I'm beyond excited to get this one underway. This series is going to be based around none other than Ansu Fati who by the way at the moment is probably my favorite player. The form he's in and the fact that at the age of 17 he's balling is just crazy. Now I'm sure you guys are wondering what are the rules of this player Road to Glory with Ansu Fati? How are we going to be working things out? One of the main rules of this series is that Ansu Fati must be a part of every squad we make and we can use his best version available so for now this is a team of the week card and by the way how mad is it that before the game is even out properly Ansu Fati has got himself an inform card so yeah we can use his best version available at the moment it's his first inform 81 rated card which we do have in the team but as he continues to pick up better and better special cards we can upgrade as we want about the rest of the team though at the moment we don't have any players but to start things off we get to open five packs and whatever players we get in those packs, we have got to fill up the squad and we start from there. You know what? Before I actually explain all the details and the rules of this series, let's actually build the squad around Ansu Fati first. So we're going to open our five packs, see what players we get and build our starter squad. So normally when I've done these player road to glories, I usually just build a silver team around the marquee player. But this time I thought let's add some fun to it through packs. That'll keep things more random and more exciting in a way. First pack, what are we going to get here? Not found? Bat Shuai. Why is he not found? <laughs> where's, where's his card design? Okay. A Premier League player isn't all that bad. It's at least it'll help with links at some point. That's that's not too bad. But what version of this... this what is this card even? It's a, it's a gold rare card. He's got a 5-star weak foot to be honest. Not too bad as a starter player. Any players that can link to him. At least we're going to fill up our squad. That's for sure. Here we go. Second pack. The first pack did give us some nice players to like build a squad around. So I'm not going to complain. Second pack. Come on. Give me like a board or something. So I can have like a good player alongside Ansu Fati. And he won't have to carry the team. I think the game is screwed up right now. Because gold rares aren't even showing up. Classic EA. They've messed up even the pack openings this year. But we get Kevin Voland and Donny Mullen. He is super OP this year. I'm 100%. 90 pace, 77 shooting, 81 dribbling. That's a good super sub at least to have. Some La Liga players are nice as well for the chemistry and whatnot. A La Liga manager will be useful. Not bad. We've got three packs to go. So far, we've packed some, you know, half decent players. But I want like a big player. Maybe like a big defender. Or at least a La Liga striker that can link with Ansu Fati. I'll take a Barcelona player as well. Let's see what we're going to get in this one. Again, it's a gold rare. Right back, Fredericks. 92 pace right back. You know what, for the starter squad and with the Premier League team we've got going around, that isn't all that bad. Christensen as well. Some decent players for like a starter squad, so can't complain. I think we can build like a nice team around Ansu Fati at least for now. And of course, as we progress, there'll be more upgrades. We get a player pick pack as well. Goule, Balde de Alcata, Mark Batra. This is tough, but I'm going to go with Batra because he's got decent stats and he's Spanish. Ansu Fati link at some point. Smart thing to do. A couple more packs to go. I've just restarted my game so I can see like gold rare players pop up and not just a black card. Because that's kind of annoying, isn't it? So let's see what we get in our second last pack to start off this, uh, the series. Yep, that's more like it. Not even a gold rare player from that one. That's, that's kind of a write-off. We can ignore that pack. But you never know, some hidden gem might be in there. Not really. Final pack to start things off and then we'll build our starter squad and I'll explain what the basic rules of this series are gonna be. So come on, final pack, give me something good. EA, please. I'm begging. Striker, Spanish, Paco Alcacer. I'm not too mad with that because he gives like a green link to Ansu Fati. So not too bad, not too bad. Getting any La Liga players at this point will be really helpful for squad building. Uh-oh, we get Adrian. I'm sure Liverpool fans wouldn't like that. So after seeing what we packed, this is basically what I've come up with for our starter squad. I mean, there are a lot of weak points in this team, but not too bad for a starter squad, right? I mean, we've got a right back with a lot of pace. We don't have a left back and our midfielder has no chem, but not too bad. At least Ansu Fati is going to be on full chem, which will give him like a lot of boost. So... Not a bad squad to start things off with. Before we get any further, I'd really appreciate if you guys could show your support by dropping a like on this video. That'll be really awesome. Subscribe for more of the Ansu Fati Road to Glory series.
Okay, now I think it's time I explain the basic rules of this series. So every game that we play in this series, at least for now, has got to be in Division Rivals. We might add for champions to that list if we start actually building a top class team. But yeah, every game that we win, we get ourselves one pack to open. Every time Ansu Fati gets on the score sheet, we get to open another pack. If he gets himself a hat trick and takes home the match ball, that is a bonus pack for us to open. Also, a couple more important rules for the series. Every clean sheet that we get is also a bonus pack and a rage quit also means a bonus pack. That's basically how we'll be opening packs to improve our team. I might add more rules to this series like when Ansu picks up an assist or something let me know if you guys want me to do that but for now this is what i'm keeping for packs but also let's not forget packs aren't the only thing about ultimate team the transfer market is just as important so what i'm thinking in this series we'll do is at any given point we're allowed to buy one player from the transfer market and have that player in our team at any given moment now i know what you're thinking this basically means that i can buy any player i want from the market no nope, that's not how it's going to work we're going to have a budget and we're going to have to follow it and how that budget is going to work is like every game that we win we get 10,000 coins added to that budget so let's say I've won four games in this series I've got 40,000 coins to spend and I can use that to of course improve the team but only one player can be bought from the transfer market the same concept is going to work for SBCs the budget will increase every time we win a game by the same number of coins so let's say this Sandro Tonali SBC for example if I won this card he's worth about 8k I've got to win just one game and I can unlock this Tonali and put him right into my team so it's actually pretty self-explanatory the concept and that's how it's gonna work so yeah I'm pretty excited now to get this series underway so let's freaking go now of course since we're doing this series with Ansu Fati we're gonna have the Barca badge on the Barca home kit as well as the away kit it was obvious now one major problem I've got here is that I've got a skill rating of 1800 already in this uh, account which means Div Rivals with the team I've got is going to be a nightmare. <sighs> Getting any sort of goals with Ansu Fati to open packs is going to be absolutely vital now. I can't wait for the first game, you know, it's going to be difficult. Here we go, we found a game. Game number one. I'm nervous. I am so, so nervous for this one. Let's see what kind of opponent we'll be facing and what kind of team he will have. Ansu Fati will need to carry us massively in the first game of this series. Tell you what. That's not all that bad. I mean, he's got good chemistry everywhere, but that's a team I think I can challenge. He's got Manuel Neuer in goal. That's big. First team we're facing, pretty decent, I'm not going to lie. Since this is the start of FIFA, thankfully we don't have to play like against God squads for the most part. I'm grateful for that, but here we go. By the way, guys, I haven't played many Ultimate Team games, so I'm really not sure what to expect from this. I, I won my first five placement matches, and because of that, I got placed in like a super high division, which I do regret now, because this is going to be painful to play against, against, you know, people who know how to play this game. But it is what it is, guys. It is what it is. Here we go. We could do something here. Paco. Inside, good pass. Ah, the first touch was so bad. That was my chance. Ah, problems here for us. Big problems. He's getting in behind. Oh my god, how did I win that challenge there? That should have been a goal for him because he, he had gone through. And here on the counter, we could do something. We really could do something. The pace is lacking. I might go for the through ball for Ansu. Go on, get there. Ansu, what are you doing, mate? What are you doing, mate? You're scoring, mate. Ansu Fati scores. Let's go, guys. That's at least one pack guaranteed. What a strike and what a finish, boys. I'm gassed looking at that goal. Oh, my God, Ansu. He's such a good player in this game. This inform Ansu card is broken and we're going to have so much fun using him. What an absolute screamer from Ansu there. I wanted to see the replay, man. Come on. Nah, you ain't having it, mate. You ain't having it. You ain't getting the ball there. You ain't getting the ball there. Good defending from all my slow players. I don't know how I'm pulling this off, but I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm doing pretty well. Back to Ansu. Do I go for goal? Do I maybe go for goal? Ansu goes down inside the box. Pen, ref. What? How is that not a pen? He gets it back, though. Back to Ansu. Yeah, I'm just going to go for goal. Ansu Fati. Ah, wide. But how is that not a penalty? Come on. Ah, this guy is doing so many skills. It's it's honestly getting on my nerves right now. Like, please, just lay off the skills, my guy. Come on. He's trying to be cocky, man. We showed him who's boss though with Ansu. We just we just need more goals with Ansu now. Come on. By the way, in-game, I'm using like a 4-1-2-1-2 narrow formation because I really enjoy using it. It's super OP in my opinion. So, yeah, that's why Ansu's playing in a very central role for me here. But Teixeira for him is now on the attack. He's done well there. Come on, keeper, do something. Oh, what a challenge. How have I not conceded there? Oh, my God. This guy must be furious right now. Oh, my God. Where's my right back, honestly? Like, where the hell is he gone? And now Tyson on the attack for him. Problems. 
Big problems here. The dribbling is on point for him. We got to deal with this. We got to deal with this. I've messed up completely there, but I've managed to block the shooting lines. Maybe not. He shoots. Good save from our keeper, Adrian. This guy is literally pace abusing with his wingers, and I, and I genuinely just hate myself right now. Like, what kind of a player plays like this, man? He's not even offside there. It comes off the post, though. Whoo, that was, that was lucky. That was so lucky. Half time and somehow we're holding on because of a goal from Ansu Fati. If the scoreline remains the same, we can like buy a player from the market. That's like worth 10,000 coins or below. Get an SBC done. A couple of packs to open. A lot of incentive for us to get a win here. I think we desperately need some changes. What I'm going to do is bring on Ristovski as, as one of my fullbacks because I need some pace there. I'm also going to bring on Kevin Voland for Cam. And we'll bring on Donny Malen, I guess, instead of Pacual Caser. Just giving us that pace boost up top. Hopefully that's enough for us to secure the win. Oh my god, Alex Teixeira has completely broken my defensive line there. What's he doing? Well, fair enough. Oh, wow. Wow. I'm speechless right now. How on earth am I defending like this? This guy is overplaying it way too much in the attack. And we're getting lucky because of it. Oh my god. This has been nuts. Good pass. Voland. It's now Ansu Fati who's turned this man. Maybe a cross back inside. It's a good delivery chance for us to score. Has to be a goal. 2-0 up. Let's go, guys. Ansu once again was fantastic. It's Mauricio Pereira. I have no idea who he is. But this goal gives us that two-goal cushion and makes life much easier for us. Kind of undeserved, but who cares at this point? I'll take it. I'll absolutely take it. Here we go now. I'm going to try and send Ansu Fati through. Can he beat his man? He can. Ansu is just insane. Wow. Ansu Fati, take a freaking bow, dude. How good is he? Honestly. 3-0. If this guy rage quits now, we'll be getting a bonus back as well. Ansu Fati. Two goals in Div 2 right now to start off the series. Just insane. He, he's just oh, too good. Too good, honestly. Oh, this is not good for me. He's finally going to get himself a goal. Fair enough. He deserves it. He honestly deserves that one goal. It's Rafinha who scores. Don't get why he's celebrating because he's still 3-1 down. Like, come on, dude. Just get on with the game, you moron. Donny Malen, back to Ansu. Go on. Chance for Ansu to score again. He's going to go for the dig. He's pulled it off. Oh, my God. No, wait. No, my God. How haven't we scored that? It came off the post twice, I think. Full time, and I don't think I could have asked for a better start to the series. I mean, winning 3-1, like Ansu Fati brace, it's, it's crazy. Of course, no clean sheet or rage quit, so we don't get the bonus packs for that. But since Ansu scored twice, we get to open two packs and a bonus pack for the win. So, we're looking pretty good. The win also lets us do an SBC worth 10k coins at the maximum. And also lets us spend 10k in the transfer market. So... We've got business to do. Okay, so instead of opening the FIFA point packs, I guess I can open these. I just got my pre-order packs, so I guess let's put them to use because these might actually end up being semi-decent. You never know. We get to open three packs, so let's open one of these for now. Come on, EA. Drop us something good in these. We see the flares. Is it going to be a board? It is going to be a board to start things off. French central midfielder. Have we just packed Pogba? Have we just packed Pogba? Oh my freaking god. What a start to this series. I, I simply cannot believe this. We've just packed Pogba to start the series off. Unreal. Unfreaking real. Wow. Just wow. We've packed Pogba. Oh my god. Wow. He's going right into the team, guys. Absolutely. And he's tradable, so I could sell him at some point. We've packed Pogba. Did I just mention that we've packed Pogba? Oh my god. Wow. Wow. This is mental. This is honestly mental. He's going right in the team, guys. What a player to pack. You'll love to see it, guys. You'll love to see it. We still have a couple of packs left, though. We're now opening our second pre-order pack. The first one was insane. So I won't even complain if I don't get anything out of this. You know, EA, I'm, I'm perfectly fine now. You don't have to give me anything good in this. But if you do, that'll be insane. Brazilian goalkeeper. Man City. This is, this is insane. We've just packed Edison now. An 88 and an 86 rated player to start the series off. What? The best part is these are pack pull players, so they don't take any slot of like transfer market or SPC players. So we're, we're, we're in a pretty good spot right now, honestly. Callum Wilson as well. But oh my god, what even is this pack luck right now? Let's go, guys. Let's freaking go. Two packs, and we're looking really good right now. One more pack to open. I'm just going to open this one with coins. Final pack. These, this, these, these packs are terrible. Premium gold packs. I'm not going to get anything good in this. But again, you never know. My pack luck so far has been absolutely incredible. Goalkeeper. 
headed in, I'm not too concerned about. But three packs, Edison and Pogba back to back. Let's put them in our team now. Oh, wait, it's not over yet because we've got like a player pick pack. What could be in these? Probably nothing good. We'll keep Rafinha. Reason being, he gives Bas that he gives that link with, of course, um, uh, Ansu Fati. Like you guys know my pack luck. It's it's awful, but it's I think turning around now. We're getting the good players now, so I'm so gassed. So can't wait for the next episode where you guys will let me know who do I buy with ten thousand coins. There's some good options. Up to you guys to decide. Let me know. I'll be taking your comments, I guess, for the player to buy from the market. That'll, that'll be a great idea. And also, about the ones to watch SBC Tonali, I might complete that in the next episode because our budget for SBCs are also 10k right now. So, that could be the plan for the next episode. For now, though, we're ending it off with a bang. Packing Pogba and Edison couldn't have gone any better for us. With that, drop a like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys very soon with another episode of the Ansu Fati to Glory. Let's keep pushing. See y'all.